YouTube channel. Today's video is reflecting on 2022. Now, what can I say? It has been one hell of a year, like always. So, if you wanna know what has happened to me throughout this 2022, then please keep watching. Okay, so as always, 2022 has been a load of ups and downs. Um, more ups than downs, if, I kind of make, if that kind of makes sense. I can't remember exactly what has happened at the beginning of the year because obviously we're now in December and that's like 12 months away, 12 months ago. And trying to think back of what has happened, it's given me a headache, literally giving me a headache. So the only thing I can think of is August time um, we had family barbecue. Um, if I remember rightly, it was my uncle's barbecue we had that so it was nice to have the family get together after being separated for two years because of covid it was lovely to get the whole family back together again just as we all wanted now by this time i was like in and out of different jobs i obviously was working at david woods then i left there to go to medicam uh, to go re to revolution beauty and it got back to my old job which is at david woods bakery like i said it is a bigger longer story than that but it's too long and i don't want this video being all about my job also we had my cousin's hen night this year we had that in august which we had in maidstone in mew mews oh it was amazing we had a lovely time I will insert some pictures if I still have that have them. Um, if I still have some clips, actually, I will try and insert some clips. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing night. It was so beautiful. Had such a laugh. Um, but yeah, if I do have some clips, then I will pop in at some videos as well because videos or pictures because that was just a brilliant night. Really was. It was nice to go out again, like out, out again after covid for two years not seeing anyone not going anywhere you know it was lovely to go out and see some of the family again and yeah and actually see some of Haley's mates because i only know one of them and now i know quite a few of them so yeah it was lovely to meet all of them <laughs> amazing night we all had a lovely time some more than others um but yeah it was just a night to remember and we wanted to give her a great night anyway because it was a hen night so but yeah it was just amazing and yeah we've kind of made new friends as well so it was it's it's lovely it's actually amazing and I had a brilliant time and thank you to my cousin for inviting me and my sister as well we had such a lovely time and it was nice to see all of your friends as well and also in august it was my fiance's birthday he was 26 so yeah i got him a few bits for his birthday we didn't do much um <sighs> As you get older you don't really want to do much for your birthday anyway but yeah we don't really make fuss of our birthdays much now i think we make fuss more on our anniversaries we've always said that we'll either spend more on our anniversary than we do on our actual birthdays um because birthdays you just get a year older 
yeah you don't make a fuss over obviously you make a fuss if it's one of the big ones um but it was only 26 and you didn't really want to make a fuss so we had a lovely lovely night in watching films and everything it was lovely and he enjoyed it as well in september we went out for a meal the night before obviously my cousin's wedding it was nice to get everyone back together again it's so it was me and my sister and my cousin and some of her mates from the hen night we all got together had a meal and a few drinks the night before the wedding it was lovely just to get everyone together seeing everyone again raising a couple of glasses to Hayley my cousin by the way um and and yeah raising a glass to her happy marriage so that was absolutely lovely and absolutely loved it and then obviously we had the big day itself now the wedding was just most amazing day ever for her it did rain a little bit but it didn't dampen the day too much if i do have pictures or videos of like the going out or the wedding i will insert pictures and videos of the day what was going on but yeah it was just most amazing day it was just hilarious it wouldn't be our family wedding if something didn't go wrong um it didn't nothing went major wrong but it was just it was so funny my little cousin bless him he wanted a wee and they was halfway like speaking halfway through the vows and everything or before they get to the vows and my cousin wanted a wee so he had to stop the wedding and then take him to oh it was it was funny but it wouldn't be our family if nothing ever happened you know there's always got to be something happening in our family but it was just hilarious and it was funny then obviously had my birthday in october so i turned 31 i will if i can try and remember to uh, insert some pictures of what i got for my birthday um i also got a bottle of wine from work as well and on my actual birthday i wanted to keep it as quiet as possible because i didn't want people making a fuss you know and someone found out and they all started singing happy birthday in the whole factory and i thought oh my god what the hell is going on um i don't get embarrassed i don't get embarrassed by things anymore um but it was just a complete shock and a surprise so, so thank you to everyone at work who actually wished me a happy birthday on that day um it did mean us so much obviously for obvious reasons like when it comes to my birthday you get upset because obviously it's another year without my mum she's not here to celebrate my birthday with me and it's the same like over christmas as well like i do get a little bit upset because my mum's not here it's another year without her um but on the other sense i've got to think like i've still got to keep going without her you know i've still got to live life without her basically i know that might sound harsh and everything but it's just the way it all happens and the way it rolls but yeah and then obviously we've got christmas coming up and yeah of well the day i'm filming this it's only the first of december so obviously i've got in my terms i've got christmas coming up but when this video goes up christmas will be either over or soon to be here but i think that might have been it for this year see i do have a diary but it only starts till august and i can't remember what actually happened at the beginning of the year thinking about the wanted and going to see them but i think that was last year when it was this year oh my god i can't remember now no it was this year it was in march so yeah oh my god god how on earth did i forget that got no words but yeah in march we went to see the wanted i think it was this year it's got to be this year yeah because i purchased yeah because i purchased the most wanted hoodie this year so yeah yeah we went to see the wanted in march how the hell how the hell did i forget about that it's the most amazing thing ever like it was we don't know if it's going to be their last one because obviously 
Tom died. Um, yeah, we don't know if they're going to be back again, but it was their last, we think it might have been their last one. Um, but it was the last one for Tom and it was so special. Again, if I do have pictures and video clips, I will insert that as well. But yeah, I'm literally in shock. I completely forgot about that. In shock. I don't know how I forgot about that. I also forgot to mention that on July we actually went to see Strictly Come Dancing live and also Max George was there singing so two for the price of one we love Max George from The Wanted and Lisa loves Strictly so me and my sister went to see Strictly Come Dancing live and it was incredible it's the most amazing thing I've ever experienced I love Max George anyway because of The Wanted but it was just the most amazing thing ever. It was in Canterbury Milo Theatre and it was just absolutely lovely and we loved every single minute of it. <laughs> Working in the dark. Thank you. 
so guys that is going to conclude today's video this is reflecting on 2022 so not much has really gone on but i think it has but it's also like kind of separated um also as well we did save up the money for the wedding we was going to book it for next year but we had to take money out for um bills and stuff and then it kept getting lower and lower and lower and then we thought you know what we might as well just get christmas and that lot over the way save and just keep saving um we will get married eventually but obviously things where bills have gone up it's getting harder to pay for things now but yeah we still do want to get married so don't worry about it guys there will be wedding content just not yet this has been the reflecting of 2022 2023 now we are going to redo this bedroom um in february me and my best mate are going to see magic mike which i cannot wait it's going to be so exciting um that is what i'm that is what's planning on happening so far the beginning of next year so the beginning of next year is looking very very promising so obviously i've got work etc i'm trying to save up more holidays for next year because i don't know whether we're going away next year for christmas or going on holiday next year i think we might be going on two holidays next year one in june and one over christmas we are planning on going away um obviously because of covid we didn't go out and we was meant to go to buttons this year but we just couldn't save enough so we are working on going to christmas next year so i've booked already booked my uh christmas holidays for next year so that is exciting uh, oh a little tip for you guys as well i don't know if anyone else has clocked this um i know my words hasn't i think me and my sister are the only one at the moment um but in may obviously we have the may day bank holiday which is the first and we have an extra bank holiday which is the eighth for the king's coronation now if you're the person who doesn't do weekends like don't work on weekends this will be so helpful for you because if you book four days off from the second to the fifth so you book four days off four of your holidays for next year from the second to the fifth in total you will get 10 days off even though you booked off four days so obviously from the 29th and the 30th which is on a weekend you will be off anyway the first you will be off because it's bank holiday if you book from the second to the fifth off which is four days you get them paid and then obviously weekend so it'd be six and seventh off off on the eighth because of the king's coronation and then back in on the tuesday so you will use four of your holidays to book off and you will get 10 days off in total if you are someone who works over the weekend obviously you will get less time off but the same principle applies to you because we have the first off anyway you can book the second to the fifth off so you have the whole week off and then in an off and then if you work over weekend you can do saturday and sunday off monday back in tuesday but yeah i wanted to share this with you guys because i don't think anyone else has clocked it yet if you've not watched tiktok then you probably won't have known um but i wanted to share this information so it can help you guys if you want some time off in may if you have kids and you want to spend more time with your kids over the bank holidays then here is your little extra days so guys with that further ado i'm going to end today's video here i hope you guys have enjoyed so it's been a bit all over the place i'm literally rushing to do a lot of things today i've already filmed two videos i've obviously filmed this one i've got to edit as well i've got to have my dinner i've got to relax i've got to sort my work stuff out for tomorrow so yeah it's a little bit hectic at the moment but um yeah i hope you guys have had have a lovely christmas or had a lovely christmas and i hope you guys have a brilliant new year um may 2023 be the best year yet hopefully nothing drastic happens like any more covid situations 
touch wood um but yeah i love you guys so so much if you've liked this video give it a great big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment in the comment section below and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload